Yes, welcome back to Queen's Wednesday on Wine in the Morning. Special thanks to Alex and Val for always starting on Wednesday. On a laughing note, as I always say, if you have a video that you think might break the views on breaking views, something hilarious, something uh, surprising, something wonderful that can start a Wednesday on a, on a high note, uh, send it to our social media handles at white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook, or you can hit me up directly at It's By Mo. It's time for Strength of a Woman, and the woman in studio, the queen in studio, is doing amazing stuff uh, for uh, survivors of uh, FGM, uh, gender-based violence, and whatnot that ladies go through in Migori County, Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. All right, your camera is number four right there. Uh, Gladwell, uh, amazing stuff you're doing first. See what you want to join Okay, thank uh, you. But before we talk about it, introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Gladwell Washira Wanjiro. Mm -hmm. I am from... Nanyuki, mm -hmm. though I live in Migori and the program is in Migori. The program is in Migori. Yeah. I can fly uh, program. Yeah, I can fly girls program mm -hmm. in Migori. All right. How did you find yourself in Migori first? Uh, I was, I went there to work. Mm -hmm. I was working in a hospital. Mm -hmm. So that is when I came to realize that there is a lot of challenges mm -hmm. that are being faced by girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Migori County. Yeah, in Migori County. All right. So you went there for work, and then you experienced this, and then you decided to do something for the girls that you were seeing in Migori. Yeah. At first, I thought mm -hmm. working on in my county, mm -hmm. but as a lip survivor, mm -hmm. I thought I should go far away, mm -hmm. whereby nobody knows me. Mm -hmm. Because it is uh, always a challenge mm -hmm. living around someone who did that to you. All right. Yeah. So this is something that is so personal to you. Yeah. Uh, you are a survivor yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, this happened uh, where you're from. Yeah. So you understand their plight and you understand their story. Exactly. So much. All right. So uh, what, when you got to Migori, I know you, you had... Uh, you have a bad story, uh, it's something traumatic, it's something you're working towards. Uh, but when you got to Migori, did you feel like some people were having it worse? Yeah, as I was working, I came to meet a lot of girls, let mm -hmm. me say more than 12 girls per day, mm -hmm. who are, they were pregnant mm -hmm. as a tender age of 12 years or the 13 average years. average age of, all right, yeah. wow. And also the little female gentle motivation mm -hmm. is also too much in Korea. Mm -hmm. So the issue of rape was mm -hmm. not from the unknown people in mm -hmm. Migori. It is mm -hmm. always from the known people. Mm -hmm. Something, somebody close to the girl. The same family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So it's always a family thing. It is also always a family thing. Uh, nine times out of ten. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, when you met these girls... Uh, what sort of conversations were you having with them? Oh, at first, they were coming for clinics, mm -hmm. the antenatal clinics. Then I was like, asking, mm -hmm. who, who made you pregnant at, mm -hmm. this, at this age? Mm -hmm. So they would always say that I was raped by mm -hmm. the unknown person. Mm -hmm. What did you do after you realized you have been raped? Mm -hmm. So they always did not do anything because the clan was the one who had to discuss the matter. Mm -hmm. And always when the guy is from the same family, mm -hmm. no action was taken. No action was taken. Yeah. So as we speak, we have so many girls who are pregnant in Migori or in the country. Let me just say in the country because this is a sample uh, of uh, the country at large. So there are so many girls who are pregnant and uh, the kids they are carrying uh, are as a result of uh, things they went through with some of their family members. Yeah. All right. So in other words, incest is alive in this country as we speak it's life uh -huh. familiar defiler it's life mm -hmm. because most of them are lived from the by the person from the same family all right yeah. this is what led you to uh, open up a shelter for these girls who have gone through fgm uh, gender-based violence and rape yeah. i never thought i was opening a rescue center at first mm -hmm. the first girl i met mm -hmm. she was in too much pain mm -hmm. she was 12 mm -hmm. So she asked, Dr. Tari, can we stay with you? Mm -hmm. Or can I stay with you? Mm -hmm. So I said yes. Mm -hmm. So that is when I took her in. Mm -hmm. And later on, I came to 
getting more girls day right. by day. How is she doing now, the first girl that she rescued? She's already in university, Pwani University. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a success story from the rescue center that started by chance. Yeah, by right. chance. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 60 girls over. Yeah, we have 60 girls in the rescue center mm -hmm. whereby we provide three meals per day, mm -hmm. education and other basic needs. Mm -hmm. So we also have other girls who are outside. Mm -hmm. They were left, but the, the lapist has already gone to jail. Mm -hmm. So they normally go to stay with their parents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so if, if the perpetrator is in jail, uh, she's safe to live with her parents. Yeah, exactly. All right, so uh, <coughs> why is it hard to persecute cases like this one involving family members? Are they protected by the parents of the girl? Are they protected by the community? What, what, is, what are the complications that come with it? In Migori, things are always different mm -hmm. because they don't want to hurt their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also the police stations that we deal with, mm -hmm. they are very far. Mm -hmm. So they see it as a process mm -hmm. of, you know, the cases always take some time. Mm -hmm. So it always take a lot of money, the transport, mm -hmm. going to court for the hearings. Mm -hmm. So they normally deal in the, with the chief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All All the right, clan and when members. you deal with the chief, it's, uh, it's a different ballgame. It is a different thing because they will have to bargain mm -hmm. and negotiate. And negotiate. Yeah. All right. What are some of the outcomes that have, uh, that have uh, made you really mad, that, uh, that took you by surprise, the outcomes of some cases? Yeah, there is a case. Uh -huh. It was on last year. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to do an interview whereby oh, every year we do sponsor girls mm -hmm. who have 330 marks and above for mm -hmm. their KCP. Mm -hmm. So the girl came to the interview. She told me the whole story. She she is being defiled on a daily basis by the uncle. Mm -hmm. But uh, I took a lot of time, three days, mm -hmm. to release the names of the girls who have passed the interview. Mm -hmm. She had 371, mm -hmm. but she committed suicide on the second day because I took long to answer the calls. How does this impact on you when something like this happens? It Do you blame yourself when things like this happen? On cases like that, in fact for that case I went all the way to the mortuary. Mm -hmm. I have never seen a dead person mm -hmm. earlier, so that was the, my first. Mm -hmm. So I had to call my sponsors in mm -hmm. the West and explain mm -hmm. because we took long a certain girl killed herself. Mm -hmm. So we, it's like it hurts. Mm -hmm. You you continue blaming yourself for that for mm -hmm. that one. Yeah. All right, but it's never your fault at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is never my fault. It's never your fault. It's, uh, it's because they don't understand. Mm -hmm. I don't do. I don't work alone. Mm -hmm. I have to. I have There's to talk to uh, other people so that we can organize on the way they will be helped. All right. So some cases result to suicide. Some cases result to infection. Some cases result to pregnancies, unwanted pregnancies, and some cases, uh, some cases end up being unsolved, <laughs> for sure. Wow, yeah. this is a sad thing. We are live on Y254. This is Queen's Wednesday, Strength of a Woman, and we have Gladwell, uh, the founder of I, I Can Fly. Four girls based in Migori, and this is a center uh, to rescue girls who are going through gender based violence. They are as young as 12, and keep your messages and your questions coming. And if you'd like to support as well, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. You're doing all these things, all these good things for the girls. Uh, you, it's like you're solving a problem, yeah? But uh, prevention is always better than cure. What are the preventive measures you're taking? What are you doing to, to, to try to, to curb this vice? Of course, prevention is better than cure. Mm -hmm. And what we am trying to do is I'm trying to find solution mm -hmm. to those teenage pregnancy, child marriages, mm -hmm. FGM, mm -hmm. and the rape cases. All right, let's start so with, uh, say, uh, early pregnancy or teenage pregnancies, what are some of the ways you're using, you're, you're using to, to cover it? We have other programs in the programs, mm -hmm. like the sanitary towels program, mm -hmm. whereby we go to schools, mm -hmm. we try to educate them mm -hmm. on the 
issue of the teenage pregnancy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on the way they can abstain or the they, way they get can. to understand their bodies as well exactly mm -hmm. so when we go to the school we try to bring the boys and the girls on mm -hmm. our different groups we talk to them mm -hmm. and then later on we give them the sanitary towels mm -hmm. yeah, we also have the mentorship programs mm -hmm. whereby we are working with other organizations mm -hmm. we form like a group or a leadership group mm -hmm. whereby we are rockets like 10 schools in a month mm -hmm. whereby we go and educate them. So we have someone like the counselor and the team, the mentors mm -hmm. from the universities, journalists. Mm -hmm. So we always form a group on the way we can do mentorship. You know, Migori County, there's a high rate of teenage pregnancy mm -hmm. lately. Mm -hmm. And also there's the high, young kids or the young girls and boys are committing suicide in a high rate. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is something the, pub, the, the the nation might never know. They don't know because it happens mostly in the in the villages. In the villages. Yeah. So the the general public might never get to know about this, but these things are happening. And if it's happening in Migori, chances are it's happening someone somewhere else. Exactly. It always happens in somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. All right. So uh, talking about uh, uh, talking about preventive measures. Uh, I've I've always dreamt of a day where somebody who's doing uh, something amazing like this would have a wholesome approach to it, an inclusive approach to it. Because I remember when I was growing up, it was the role of the brother to take care of the sister. It was the role of the dad to take care of the family. It was, I remember even going to school, you told, make sure you take care of your sister uh, and whatnot. Uh, what is the role of the boy child? And is there a space for the boy child to try and 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 cup 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 this. Yeah, everyone has a role, mm -hmm. but in earlier years, mm -hmm. the parent used to sit the girls down, mm -hmm. and then they talk to them about their bodies, mm -hmm. the changes, mm -hmm. what they should do or mm -hmm. what they should not do. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, it's like the parents are too busy; mm -hmm. they don't have that time to talk to their girls or mm -hmm. their boys. I've left the work to the teachers. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And also the teachers is too busy mm -hmm. teaching other things. And also the boys, the boy, the boy child in mm -hmm. the society. Mm -hmm. It's like the girls and the boys don't relate in a way that they used to relate in earlier years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's always that uh, they don't engage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it because we are moving farther and farther away from our traditions? Yeah, what? everybody is so busy with what he or she is doing. Uh -huh. They don't realize there are some things that uh -huh. can make a person to fail. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's not about money, money, and take, 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 take. It's all about money. Uh -huh. But I wish they knew that there is other things which are more important more than money. All right. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Law enforcement. How are you working with the with the law enforcers to, uh, to towards your project? We don't enroll our girls directly. Mm -hmm. We normally take them from the police officers, mm -hmm. the district children's officers, or the sub county mm -hmm. children's officers, and also from the chief, that is the administration officer mm -hmm. in the village. Mm -hmm. S and then the court. Mm -hmm. So we normally get the girl, they w she was raped, they have, they have a case, mm -hmm. and then she is referred to the organization. Referred to the organization. Yeah. All right. Uh, as you said earlier, the court, uh, the due processes in, in court are quite slow, and uh, some of them are not, they don't yield results, right? Yeah. All right. What do you think can be done different by the judicial system for, say, setups like the villages where you only have one court uh, somewhere far away but we have cases coming up every day and maybe the chief is not qualified to, to hear these cases. What do you think can be done different by the judicial system from above? Okay, in Migori there is something that uh, we, are trying to, uh, we are trying to come out mm -hmm. with because we want, we want the magistrate to be hearing the children's cases mm -hmm. at least once in a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it's not everybody who can be able to travel or mm -hmm. to go to the court. Mm -hmm. Most of the people fear going to court. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to gather all the cases, mm -hmm. then our social workers mm -hmm. can take them directly to the court. Directly to the court. Yeah. This is work in progress. Yeah. Uh, how is the reception? 
we are working well with the magistrates or the judiciary in Migori. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. Progress at least. Yeah. Is there, what is your vision with I Can Fly? Um, I Can Fly. Where do you see it? Like, what is your dream? Like, say I Can okay. Fly. Let uh, me paint a picture for you. I Can Fly has done whatever you wanted to do. Uh, with I Can Fly, you've achieved every goal. How does what that world you're living in then look like? Okay, we normally say I can fly like a butterfly mm -hmm. because we normally call our girls butterflies. Mm -hmm. So the skies is always our limit. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are starting something, mm -hmm. you don't feel the burden. Mm -hmm. But right now, the burden is too much on me. Mm -hmm. I never thought it will be that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because every day we have new cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for the babies, I'm trying on this Friday, we are trying to come up with a protection unit. I will mm -hmm. be having a meeting mm -hmm. and we want to separate the mothers and the babies. Mm -hmm. We take we take the babies mm -hmm. to another place mm -hmm. whereby they can be protected mm -hmm. and be taken care of mm -hmm. as the mothers goes to school. Mm -hmm. So in I can fly, our vision is to see that we have rescued Mm -hmm. more than enough girls mm -hmm. and also to see that we have minimized mm -hmm. the cases mm -hmm. of the teenage pregnancy and the mm -hmm. child marriage and probably end up at zero yeah after we are minimizing. we are targeting the zero child marriage mm -hmm. zero teenage pregnancy you know mm -hmm. it is hard to do that mm -hmm. yeah but it's it's the vision it's the goal it's the, it's our goal mm -hmm. yeah and you're going to achieve that for sure and i like what you're doing it's amazing all right, so um, you said you have sponsors uh, that you work with from the US. Yeah. All right, but always more can, more can always be done. Every day we try finding more sponsors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because right. even if we have two sponsors, it mm -hmm. does not mean they mm -hmm. can be able to handle the cases. Mm -hmm. We are trying to look for more sponsors. You're always trying to look for more sponsors. Yeah. All right, I'll give you a chance since you're on national TV, every, uh, we are being watched across Africa now. Your camera is number four. Just talk to that person uh, or talk to the people in whatever way you need their help, even if it's financial or professional help. Talk to all of them and uh, then we can carry on. Yeah, as Kenyans, we are supposed to target zero teenage pregnancy, zero child marriage, and zero female gentle maturation cases. And for us to do that, our parent must talk to the girls and the boys. Because talking to the girls does not mean the boys knows everything he is saying or everything he is doing. And also let us make sure the familiar defiler goes down because they are supposed to go down. Mm -hmm. And for the donation, in case you want to support our program, we have our website which is www.icanfly.org. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is the way to reach you guys. www.icanfly.org dot org as always. Yeah. All right. So uh, in Migori County, uh, where are you based in Migori County? Uh, we don't. We normally don't disclose our location okay, that okay, much okay. because of the safety of the girls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we are in Migori. When you go to Migori, mm -hmm. there is the Rongo mm -hmm. sub county offices. Mm -hmm. You can ask where we are. Always. Because right. we normally rescue girls from Narok, mm -hmm. and when we say where we are, they mm -hmm. try to, to trace the to girls. To trace the girls. Yeah. For sure. So you rescue girls from counties around Migori as well? No. we. Uh -huh. I have girls from six counties. From six counties? Yeah. Wow. And also we have the I Can Fly High School in Machakos. The I Can Fly High School in Machakos? Yeah. So when we educate our girls in primary level, mm -hmm. we take them to the high school, our mm -hmm. own high school in Machakos. Mm -hmm. And the main reason we choose Machakos is mm -hmm. because it's a bit far from the cases of uh -huh. the teenage pregnancy, the female gentle maturation. Mm -hmm. So we thought it's advisable for us to separate the two to separate projects. Separate the two. All right. Everything is strategic. Everything is premeditated. Uh, how do you manage to do this? Yeah, I have the best, uh, the best team ever. Mm -hmm. Our managers, our we have. Let me say we have a great team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. and also we do have a team. We have a council mm -hmm. whereby it is only the kids, the mm -hmm. girls. So they they always have a view. 
-hmm. they tell us on when we do this we can get better mm -hmm. and also understand being a mother to over 100 girls it's not easy at the age of 27 mm -hmm. you're only 27 yeah wow. uh -huh. so i normally try to listen to my girls more mm -hmm. than the staffs uh -huh. yeah because they are the one facing the challenges. They are the one fa the ones facing the challenges. They are the team. They are like the family to me. But mm -hmm. the staff, maybe most of them think of working, but they don't mm -hmm. know where we have come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a personal life? Yeah, I have my personal life. I mm -hmm. have my husband. Where do you get the time? <laughs> <laughs> I normally don't have the time, uh -huh. <laughs> but um, I have two kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one is in class five and one is in nursery. Mm -hmm. I think the one in class five, he saw me an year ago. Mm -hmm. We don't meet regularly. Uh -huh. And also my husband is a police officer. Mm -hmm. He works in Busia. Mm -hmm. So we normally, it's for them to come and look for me. Mm -hmm. Because the moment I leave the girls, mm -hmm. there is always a case. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you have... Two families, as we speak. I have two <laughs> family. A your paternal girl. family and your extended family. Yeah. And, and this is something that you love doing. These girls also changed my life mm -hmm. in a way that I don't have stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking to them, just talking to them. My place is always noisy, mom mm -hmm. this, mom that. Mm -hmm. So they always change my life in another way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, mental health is also an issue. When you go through all these things uh, together, uh, it gets to a point where your head cannot handle it. Yeah, but we, uh -huh. we always have a strategy. Mm -hmm. The strategy is for me, mm -hmm. I have to, like for a month, mm -hmm. I have three days of vacation. Three days of. Yes, that is for you. I'm talking about the girls as well. Because uh, when once you go through something traumatic like this, uh, you're bound to go through to succumb to depression and whatnot. Uh, is mental health an issue that you're dealing with as well? Yeah, we have the mental issue even not that much, but mm -hmm. we have the stress and the depression. Mm -hmm. So as I said, we always have a strategy mm -hmm. on either sides, mm -hmm. the staff side, the mm -hmm. kids side. The kids side. So what we do is we rescue, that is the first mm -hmm. point. Then we, we have our counselors. Mm -hmm. So we take the girls to the counselors, they mm -hmm. open up about what is bothering them. Mm -hmm. Then we put them in school. All right. Uh, another thing is that uh, these things might be happening in Kenya, but for somebody who's living in somewhere in Nairobi, uh, it doesn't matter the class. Just somewhere in Nairobi with a comfortable life, goes to work in the morning, comes back home in the evening, earns a salary, eats well, uh, goes out uh, over the weekend or spends time with family. It's very hard for them to know that these things are still happening in this country. Do you think it's important uh, that everybody knows uh, that this thing is happening first? Yeah, these things are little, mm -hmm. especially in the villages. Mm -hmm. You know, we still follow our cultures. Mm -hmm. Like the Maasai, they always follow their culture of the female genitals, mm -hmm. motivations. So people in towns, they mm -hmm. don't understand. Mm -hmm. Because maybe they are too busy. Mm -hmm. But you see in villages, people mm -hmm. are, they don't have that much to do. Uh -huh. So they keep on discussing the cultures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, but do you think it is important that the whole nation knows this is happening in Migori, this is happening in Nairobi, this is happening uh, here and there? Yeah, it's very important mm -hmm. for people to realize that it is happening, mm -hmm. and also in which percentage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like for to example, to the details. Of yeah, it. to uh -huh. the details because, mm -hmm. like the HIV infection cases in young girls in Migori, mm -hmm. it's too high. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Because they still have this culture of inheritance, mm -hmm. wife inheritance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe the last wife to be inherited is 14 years old. That mm -hmm. means if the, the family is positive, she mm -hmm. also gets infected. Mm -hmm. But people don't know. Mm -hmm. But and I th think they should know. People should know. Yeah. All right. Uh, which leads to my next question. Because mm -hmm. I, I remember when Sudan had a problem, everybody put the blue flag on their Instagram. Awareness was spread. But... Uh, I don't know how successful that was. I don't know if it yielded results. Uh, after people knowing, or when people know, how is it going to help 
the bigger picture when people just have the knowledge this is happening this is happening what is yeah like for example that time for sudan mm -hmm. the awareness was too much mm -hmm. Everybody knew what is happening, mm -hmm. but always remember there's someone on the back door who is trying to light the fire again. Mm -hmm. So even if we are creating the awareness, mm -hmm. out of 10 people, there's yeah. always two or three people who don't understand what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So they still continue doing what you are telling them not to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So uh, the more the awareness, the, the easier to solve the problem. Yeah, the more the awareness, the m it is also easier to solve this. Because people will come together, and uh, together we are stronger, obviously. And the girls will assist, mm -hmm. because nowadays they are assisting. If mm -hmm. you tell them to go through the FGM, they mm -hmm. just learn a way to a rescue center. Because they know people are going to support them Exactly. There. So support, support, support. Support, support. So every day it's all about support. And let's stop the stigma. Yeah. Let's stop the stigma and support these people. Yeah. Uh -huh. And awareness. And awareness. I'm looking for like five <laughs> pointers. <laughs> awareness. Yeah, we so must create the awareness. Mm -hmm. And the awareness is what will lead to the stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. But always understand they won't stop in an easy way. Mm -hmm. Because there is people there who knows that the, f the FGM is good. Mm -hmm. Because they went through the FGM. Mm -hmm. so it's cultural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you tell them don't, uh, don't, don't cut your girls... Mm -hmm. They always think you are telling them to go against the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, the last thing, mm -hmm. and this is a little bit political, uh, but politics is us and we are politics. Uh, our leaders are chosen through all this politicking. Uh, do you think the women leaders in parliament are doing enough? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe mm -hmm. they are busy doing something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in Migori, we are trying to engage our first lady, mm -hmm. yeah, the wife to Okodo Bado, mm -hmm. and she is really doing good mm -hmm. on fighting against the teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so at least there's support uh, and good political will she in Migori. She is really creating the awareness, mm -hmm. but about the solution, I don't know about that. All right, yeah. wonderful. Thank you very much for coming, and thank you very much for sharing. It's not easy to share, I know. And uh, I'll give you another chance to remind them your website and social media, and now they can get to join the tree or jump on the tree. Okay, well, you can find me on my Facebook page, that mm -hmm. is Gladwell Washira, mm -hmm. and also our organization Facebook page, that is the I Can Fly Project Migori. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't have our Twitter at mm -hmm. the moment, mm -hmm. but our website is www.icanfly.org. All right. Thank yeah. you very much, Gladwell, for coming. Thank you very much for what you're doing and all the best in your endeavors. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be here. As Santi Sana. Okay. Yes, we had Gladwell, uh, the founder of I Can Fly for Girls, based in Migori, and this is a center to save the girls who don't have any hope or who don't have somebody to fight for them. If you'd like to support that, www.icanfly.org. Right there, this is Strength of a Woman, and she's our Strength of a Woman of the Day. My name is Barry Moses. It's Barry Moses on social media. Val is coming up next with Girls Talk, Hot Topic. You don't want to miss it.